We're Kim and Al. We have been planning our escape from a fast-paced corporate life since we met 10 years ago. Freedom 45. This year, we finally pulled the ripcord. We quit our jobs, sold our home in the city, bought a property in the sticks, and are building an off-grid home ourselves. We're excited to share our experience as we create our new life on the North River. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you've got to stop The way your body keeps my heart beat sound It's amazing all the This is our holding tank, pre-poop. Hello! Weekend. We had a rainy day yesterday on Friday, and uh, apparently we're getting rain today and tomorrow, which we're actually kind of grateful for. It's been a really hot week. Oppressively really hot. <laughs> Horribly hot. Don't just gloss it over as a really hot week. Yeah, yeah. It, was like, it was like 28 feels like 5,000. Well, my thing is, you don't want to complain about the sun because we, do, we have had a lot of rain, no. but uh, working in the sun, especially the humidity, is... Uh, 
Hey, hey, Andy. It's a lot. Andy, so I saw the I saw the Mario son, the angry son. Yeah, it, it found me too. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, but we did have a really good week. Got our septic holding tank delivered on Tuesday morning, which was amazing. And then that very same day, uh, we called the guy for the sand, and he brought us four loads that day. Which we really weren't expecting. Yeah, things 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 are slow. They they've been well, relatively so. Just I think with COVID and all these people, uh, all this like kind of real estate activity. There's a lot of people doing renovations, a lot of people building. Um, so the contractors are all up to their eyeballs. So, uh, what works to our advantage is being DIY. You can kind of slip yourself into the schedule and just by telling them, it's like, well, I can make you quick money. We don't need to, you know, I don't need you to do any of the prep work. The site's already prepared. The hole is dug. It's level. I just need you to drop a tank in and away you go. So in, in a couple of cases that we, we found some luck that way, like some people wouldn't return our calls because they're just up to their eyeballs. They don't need the business. Um, um, and then other folks are just trying to hem and haw to figure out when they can fit it in amongst the other projects that they have. So, so once the tank came in, we just assumed we would have to wait a little bit, you know, and yeah. call a bunch of numbers to find people to help us. But the second number on the list I got from the guy who delivered the tank, um, you know, they, they were kind of, they are you know, also busy. They admitted they were busy and, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen today. I said, well, I'm not expecting, I'm talking to you today. I'm not expecting sand today. But lo and behold, my, my new best buddy, Brian, brought four yeah. dump trucks of sand yeah. that afternoon and and even like the fourth one is like well we might not be able to get that in before the end of the day and then at the end of the day he's like if you're up for it I'm up for it and he went and he brought the last load and and then the next day both loads of, of filter sand so yeah. in between him bringing them we had to spread all of that and make sure that it was the depth that it needs to be in the mantle so many details uh, really pleased though you know in one day we got a massive part of that job completely Yep. And uh, then the very next day, like Al said, we got the filter sand for the head of the field bed. Yep. And that took us a little bit longer to spread because it's uh, quite a bit deeper and we just have to, it has to be level. Yeah, like a foot of the regular sand in the mantle and that'll be the lower part if you see the, the videos or the footage. And then the, the head of the field bed, which is really the smallest part of it, it's only 22 square meters. It has to be two and a half feet or 750 millimeters for my Canadian friends. So so that that's the spec. Yeah. And, and it's also very... Um, almost like sugar it's very granular so it gets tested and yeah so and it's t it, so we spread that out and, and you know and it's expensive so we're trying not to like compact it too much or 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 like mix it in with the other sand but yeah we're, i think we're almost ready and i know we've said that a couple times and for all the best laid plans these projects that's just how it goes we're yeah. at the mercy of so many different variables yeah right? well and this is teaching us patience it is teaching yeah, us yeah. to just go with the flow yeah. a little bit and more I need me patience lessons all day long i'll take all the ones yeah. that i can get for sure anyone yeah. i know me knows yeah well yeah long. me too right so it, you know <laughs> it is it, it is what it is and and we're we're taking it in stride and and we are just we're getting really excited because this has been a really big job and and having this come to completion is just a huge win for us yeah. um monday or tuesday we're going to likely yeah. get the delivery of the rock yeah i called i called my new best buddy brian on friday saying uh, we've got the the bed all laid out now we're ready for the stone to that that like basically is a, the base and you lay the pipe on that and then you put the stone over the pipe the rest of the stone over the pipe and uh and he's like i don't know if i can do it today it was just made me laugh and like I'm not looking for you to do it today, dude. It's Friday. Yeah. It's Friday morning, right? And but uh, it's lovely that they, they really want to get out they here. They really want to make their customers happy. Yeah. So so if I if I I be, I'll be shocked, not dismayed, but shocked if 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 it's not here by Tuesday for yeah. sure. So knowing that that's coming on Tuesday, we wanted to make sure that we got all of the uh, tubes and all of everything that we need to finish that that bed once they make and, that and last delivery. And then some. So yeah, we did a trip to the big city. We got our sells uh, a load of, uh, of materials from uh, Home Depot yeah and um, which is about an hour away from us so yeah. when we go to the city we try to make that an efficient uh, trip do, do our, like, trips. staples and grocery shop you know yeah. if we need any odds and ends at Canadian Tire or wherever it is and then always oh, it's almost inevitably well, uh, a trip to Home Depot what, what the one, one of the mistakes I had made and in, in just in all this DIY stuff of course uh, if you want to be a jack-of-all-trades it's just always spending time at night 
you know, reading, researching, looking at diagrams. Um, it's often incomplete information because a lot of stuff is just assumed that you know that stuff. So you, you end up, it's never like one page or one article. It, it's, it's usually, it's like a domino effect. Like you read about the main thing you're trying to do and then they'll mention some mm -hmm. subcomponent of it and then you have to dive down that rabbit hole to figure that out. But anyways, long story short, I had looked at all kinds of different types of, of hardboard insulation and related that to our next project which is the enclosure and I mm, kind of mis miscal not miscalculated but picked the wrong product in my mind and you know and I was thinking yeah okay it's a half inch and we have this many boards you know it should fit in the truck no problem yeah. but when we got to Home Depot uh, I looked at the rating for like the amount of pressure that can be exerted on the on the hardboard insulation which is going to go under the slab um, and and the stuff that I actually needed ended up being like twice as thick or, or almost three times as thick. So we loaded up our truck more than we have ever loaded up our truck before, it and funny. it was very stressful. not not weight wise, very but stressful but, drive but as far as volume, like yeah. bulk, because it was mostly this this foam closed foam insulation. But but yeah, it was like a cartoon. Like it looked like a cartoon where you know some impossible amount of stuff has just been like haphazardly lashed to the top of a wagon or whatever. And we, we did. It lumbering safely. down the we highway had, yeah. yeah yeah no we did it safely we actually yeah. had to buy come along straps that was like my forced trip back into the store so we could just winch everything down so yeah. we go flying off down the highway yeah. we drove really slowly home but it really Way was a stressful day we're, so we're, ha <laughs> we're happy to have it all home and we are going to give you detail uh you know probably in our next video or whenever we do start the enclosure which will be soon um, basically what we did was we got all, all of what we need for the foundation to start and yep. then likely we're going to be making an order of wood and some other things to be delivered later. So yeah, so yeah, foundation first. Foundation first with the bolts coming up, so that we can put down the sill plate. But all that stuff, the sill plate, the 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 studs, and all that other thing in the, in the rafter materials, that'll come later. Yeah. Baby steps. We're, wow. we're just feeling really grateful that you know the, the, finally these completion steps are all coming together. And you know, as we look back on it, we are kind of realizing that. Everything really does always fall into place. I, really, I, I truly believe we have reason to be grateful. There, there are certain things that, you know what I mean, all along the way in our plan that could have gone horribly sideways, both because of COVID and that, like when we went to buy the trailer, yeah. um, there was really, this was the last one that was on the lot um, yeah. because, and, and, and the next ones available wouldn't have been delivered till August. So yeah. we would, would have been homeless until this point. Yeah. The stars um, have really aligned for us. And, you know, as yeah. we look yeah. back on it, we really do realize that yeah, we're so lucky and we do kind of push ourselves really hard so sometimes it's good when it rains like this and you know right now for instance we planted all those trees and we thought that that was a good idea because it was raining a lot and then we got this Hot. Big heat spell, and it's still summer, so transplanting trees, right? They're already stressed. So they're a bit in shock. We we had to we had to water them every day, and of course we don't have running water like on tap yet. Like we would just end up draining our well to to be watering trees, and they're also spread to the four corners of the property. So we we end up on a daily basis on the hot days hauling buckets and buckets, right? Just making so, sure that they're gonna make it through. <laughs> yeah, and they and they are like we we lost a couple, and and those were because I had uh, when we had dug them up, they were in sand, and they. And and basically the sand fell away from the root so there was really no root ball with original soil and and i kind of had a feeling they were going to go and sure enough like within a few days the leaves all dried up and we're like eh chalk that up and well you know you learn and but we do know now why people typically you wait know, until the fall when it gets a little <laughs> yeah. cooler and less yeah oppressive and, and yeah. terrible yeah the rain the rain forces us to to take a break and and then we can get the feeling back in our hands yeah. um, you know what I mean? we are going to have to start some kind of a yoga routine or some kind of a stretching routine daily because we are noticing as as much as we are getting stronger and we're feeling good about our health and you know just the exercise that we get doing all of this like um, upward, we do need to stretch more or the, and our bodies aren't used to it after desk jobs for years and years we really do need to uh my favorite yoga find a pose, routine the twisty rubber pretzel yeah days like this weekends like this give us an opportunity to just kind of sit back and talk about our plans and figure out what we're going to do yep. and not only that get used to our surroundings and and we were just talking last night about how we're really starting to feel like it this is like home, home now. Yeah. When we when we come back here, it doesn't feel like we're on vacation anymore. It doesn't feel like we're just visiting. It feels like you get that this feeling of relief, like ah, phew, yeah. we're back, we're back here, we're back yeah. home, we're back to the yeah, and back so, to the front, yeah, yeah. for the Metallica fans, and yeah. 
through all the stress, we're still, we're still, uh, still in love. We're still in love. <laughs> <laughs> we, are. we are. Two bosses, two very headstrong people. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. We're, we're, we're having just having a blast really yeah. in the end of it all. Like, yeah, it's work and yeah, it's, it's, it's empowering and it's freeing because we are the boss and you know, we, for two people that don't really like being told what to do, yeah. it's it, it's the perfect situation for us. We're we're really happy with this choice. Success and really failure are all relative. Um, in the end, it's like it's everything that we do, we own it, right? It's ours. So in the morning, when we wake up, we assess the weather, we assess how we're feeling, and then we decide precisely what it is that we yeah. want to work on. And if we get it done, we get it done. If we don't get it done, it, that's all on us, and it's our responsibility. And you know, and despite some of the pressure that that brings it's a, it's you know it's well well outweighed by the the benefits and the and the you know and the kind of the the reward yeah yeah and we wouldn't change it Not we just bit. feel so grateful and so lucky to have this situation and to be here it's just it's wonderful and you know once this enclosure is up and we have a safe warm place for the winter all of these jobs will be able to you know There's if no, the weather is yeah. bad we can switch gears and we can do something different and and we can just decide that there won't be the same kind of uh, timeline rush and that pressure, we feel pressure. right like now. if you think about it like you know not to get too philosophical but the the fundamental things that you need in life right you need to eat you need a roof over your head roof over your head right and we <laughs> do have that in the trailer but obviously a trailer that's like moderately insulated is not going to hold up in, 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 the, in, winter. in the winter here yeah. so one once we have the roof over our head, then everything else is, you know, all, all things being relative, they're just creature comforts, right? Yeah. And so there's no time constraint. It's like, oh, if that, take that, that new thing takes me four days, five days, ten days, two weeks, one month, schmeh, right? It'll get done, and when we get done, we'll be grateful for it, and it'll be one more kind of, one more step toward our overall goal. Yeah. Yeah. So feeling really happy, feeling really, uh, it's really nice to have this reprieve and just uh, yeah. take stock. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at. And uh, true story. <laughs> hey guys, yeah. you have fun. <laughs> Enjoy your Saturdays. Yeah.